Hi guys, I'm Chase and these are my top 10 essential pieces from my own closet. All right, uh, hey guys. So we are starting a new series. Um, it is loosely named as of this moment, top 10 essential pieces from my own closet. Um, what I'm trying to communicate there is I pick the 10 things that I wear most or love most or what I consider like absolutely essential to my wardrobe. And I'm gonna kind of just go through what the pieces are, why I love them, if there's a story behind them, you know, I'm just gonna talk about them and why they're interesting to me and why I have them. All right, yeah, so hopping into it, um, basically to kind of like talk about how I view clothing and stuff. I try not to have too much shit. I try not to have too much clothing. Um, I like to wear all of the things that I have. Uh, I get kind of anxious if I have a bunch of stuff like just sitting around that I haven't worn in a year or whatever. So I do kind of like cycle through, but I, in my opinion, these are things that I've had for a minute or that I will never get rid of or that I love a ton. Um, so yeah, so just hopping right into it. Everybody has like a t-shirt that they have had for like ever. I got this t-shirt uh, summer before college, 2011. It's band Nails, a uh, metal band, if you know. I appreciate that, but I wore this t-shirt three or four times a week for nine or 10 years. Um, just recently, there's a big enough hole now in the the elbow, crotch region of the elbow. It's, it's unwearable. And also, I mean like, like this thing is all but disintegrating, but I love this t-shirt. I love the fit of it. I got it in XL. I couldn't go to the show because I got my wisdom teeth out that morning. Couldn't go. They played with this band called New Lows from Boston. It was sick. Anyway, I love this nail shirt. It means the absolute world to me. It was the first thing I chose when we did this series. Snatched it out of my closet, but it's not wearable, but I will have it forever. Um, I've thought about like trying to repair it, but the fabric is like truly disintegrating. Um, we'll get some close-ups of it, but like, it's all genuine. Like, it's just all, it's just a dope shirt. So that's my nail shirt um, for all the people who grew up in the Midwest and going to hardcore shows and shit. Like, you'll probably appreciate that. You probably had the exact same shirt. It was definitely like a thing at one point. Moving on, I have this Black Watch Atlantic Parka from Engineered Garments. It would have been spring, summer, 2019 maybe. So sick. Black watch to me is basically navy or black. So it kind of works into everything that I already wear. So I treat it as such. Nice and thin, two-way zip. You know, the whole EG pocket deal. We got like a zip pocket here on the back to put, uh, I think, you know, they're kind of calling on like a map pocket from other, you know, old garments. But anyway, I love this thing. It's light enough. I can put hoodies under it, sweatshirts, uh, EG work shirts, whatever. It's big enough and roomy, goes over everything. And again, it's kind of like a full year round piece. It's like kind of a rain jacket in the summer, but if you got a lot of layers underneath, it's nice and warm in the winter. Atlantic Parka from EG. Uh, this will never hit grail, don't ever sell this. Moving on from that, being a little sentimental yet again, is the OG Canoe Club hoodie. First one we had made with the logo when I made the rebrand, when we did the rebrand and I made the new logo and the pinky swear, we wanted some merch to kind of celebrate that new era. This was the first hoodie we did. Again, big old hood. I like the big hood. It goes over like my beanies and stuff. I like to put my hood up, it makes me feel safe, like a little hiding place, you know what I mean? It's like not super long in the body, but like it still like kind of pokes out of some stuff, which I like, like having it poke out the bottom. So proportions are cool, but more than anything, it's sentimental. It's like OG Canoe Club. Um, so yeah, if you have one of those, uh, hit us up and share it. If you've worn it a bunch, I want to see what it looks like, but that's OG. So qualifying that. Moving on, I have this full count chore coat. So it came with a bunch of paint on it, but also uh, if you follow the Instagram, maybe you know, but. I also am a sign painter on the side. Um, that's actually how I met the crew here at Canoe Club. Um, I painted the first signage, then got hired and I've been here since. So that was like, you know, first couple months of the shop opening. But so I wear this to all my paint gigs, gets me, you know, all these pockets. I can like wipe my fingers and get the paint on the jacket and the shit, it doesn't matter because it's already in this state. But again, it's just like a perfect fit for a chore coat. Nice and roomy. I got these cute little pins on here. 
it's just dope. Like this, this is another thing that I'll never get rid of. I feel really attached to it. Year round piece with a t-shirt underneath, hoodie, doesn't matter. Um, it's sick. I think everybody should have a denim jacket, whether it's a chore coat, type two, whatever. Yeah, get one. But this thing is sick. Uh, moving on, this is probably obvious because you've seen me wear it, I would say probably 15 to 30 times. I did the whole Canoe Club Orslo herringbone twill French blue kit. So here are the uh, regular fit army fatigues from Orslo and the herringbone, herringbone twill. I, I prefer the regular fit over the slim, so I'm super happy this is what we got in this collection. Uh, the fabric, I, th I think the fabric is a standout for the whole thing. The fit and everything is cool, but this fabric is sick. I washed it probably three or four times at this point. I try to be kind of hard on it, like I don't baby it. I throw it in the dryer. It is faded beautifully. A, a, a quick nod to the internet in 2011, posting fade pics of your jeans and shit. Like, this is awesome. These pants are what I wanted my whole life. We got them and now I, now I have them. So we also have this coming in olive, quick plug for the fall. But anyway, if you missed out on these, might be getting them back. Just keep uh, keep your eye affixed on the Orslo page. But so the bottoms from the kit and then obviously I couldn't leave out the top. Same thing. So. In terms of the fit for this one, what I really love about it is I treat it more like a straight up denim jacket, like more like a mid-layer. I don't really treat it like a coat. The armhole's a little high for it to be like, like toss a hoodie or something underneath. Um, so I really just treat it like t-shirt underneath, which is sick. So I probably will treat it like a mid-layer come this winter, maybe wear it like fully buttoned up under a bigger jacket or under like a roomier sort of like puffer or something like that. But same deal, the fabric looks great. I also have washed this three or four times, trying not to baby it. I really want it to just kind of like look pretty beat here in the next year or so, cause I like all my stuff to be worn and look like I actually wear it. You know, if it looks new, it's like, it's too much. You know what I mean? Like wear your shit, looks better. So that's gonna be it for the tops. I have a couple of other things that will uh, maybe pique some of your interest. I chose this brown capital bandana strictly for the fact that it's brown. Got it probably four years ago. It's my favorite one to carry around. They're in a bunch of like raunchy sex positions. So it's a little like, it's a little wild, you know, but it's crazy. It's got a big old peace sign. It's super soft. I carry it on me. I just like to like touch it to my face and stuff. If I'm like a passenger in a car, I'm just chilling. You know what I mean? But the bandana is sick. So. This is the one that I chose. I have a lot of capital bandanas, but a brown bandana. It's like you ever had like a brown lighter and you just kept it for years because you don't see a brown lighter. This is how I feel about this. Moving on from that. These are the exact same wool beanies that we have from EGN right now. Uh, just like those like 100% wool. They came with like an engineered garments pin on it. I think I have the pin from last year on the full count jacket, but I brought all my colors in because this counts as one skew in my mind. This is my favorite beanie. Uh, I'm kind of beanie boy. Winter comes, I'm not gonna get my hair cut and I'm gonna wear a hat every day. As I mentioned with the hood and probably you're picking up with the bandanas, got like a little sensory stuff going on. I like to wear a beanie, it makes me feel good. It's like my thing. So I like to wear beanies. The second it gets cold enough, I have a beanie on. These are all awesome. I put them over a basketball when I go to sleep when I first get them so that they stretch out and they're perfect the very next day. You don't have to wear them in and do the whole like song and dance of like stretching it to your head. Put it over a soccer ball or basketball, good to go the next day. But I have copper, like this burgundy and black. I'll probably pick up two or three of the other new colors from this season. Um, this one is kind of in the same vein as my nail shirt. It's this New York hardcore band from like the late 2000s, early 2010s called Backtrack. Um, yeah, just like a cool kind of like moshy hardcore band from New York. Um, they played my hometown in Ashtabula, Ohio quite a while ago. But yeah, I got this hat. I think I was a freshman in college. It, when I got it, it was like so dark navy that I thought it was black. And then as years go on, it has faded to this Probably just like the film from the oils that are on my head and my hair. This is probably what it is. That like, if you could like 
dilute my oils, it'd be this color. So that's kind of what happened to the hat. It's really gross, but honestly, it's my hat and nobody else wants it because I've worn it a bunch and it's mine and I'll have it forever. So I love this hat. We're also gonna get a close up of this. Y'all gotta see this. Good patina. And then that brings me to my 10th and final item, the uh, Doc Martin Hender Scheme. So in a lot of situations with Hender Scheme, it's itemized as MIP, manual industrial product. This is an actual collaboration with Doc, so it's co-branded. Got the gold foil Doc here in the, uh, in the actual, like, in the shoe on the footbed. And then on the bottom, uh, the same sort of similar Doc Martin branding that you'd see on like a standard Doc you know, like the oil slip resistant, the logo, et cetera, et cetera. So love these. Again, I wear these on all my sign gigs. So they're covered in paint. I have been absolutely awful to them. I don't maintain them. I wear them harder than I wear any of my actual docks. I think they're more, really, they're probably gonna last longer than any of the actual docks I have. These are crazy. I think they're a pinnacle of craftsmanship. These like, if you had a good arm, these are heavy enough, you could probably toss these a full like city block. Like if you had a really good arm, you could throw these far. Like these are heavy, heavy duty. But love these. Again, I've had them for probably like three and a half years. They've held up great, three years. Yeah, they're sick. So that is about it. These are all the things that I love most. Uh, it's stuff that I wear a ton. I will continue to wear a ton. And things that I just like really value. Um, again, I try to keep it simple. I don't wear a lot of patterns. These are all things that fit me nicely. Uh, they're worn to my body and I have some sort of weird connection to them. So now I have shared that and you know me very intimately. So, so yeah, so that is all of my stuff. Um, yeah, it was fun. The next episode will be Timothy. I know what some of the stuff he's bringing in. Uh, a funny thing about Timothy, I've, we've been close for five, five years and some change. He's got like sleeper pieces, you know what I mean? Like you'll never see him wear it. And then someday he'll come in with like, whatever, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's cool. He's got some really cool stuff in his closet. I know he's been kind of like squirreling it away and he's had some of it for a minute, but really exciting to see what he's gonna bring to the table as well. That will be episode two. As for this, um, please like, comment, subscribe. Any of your thoughts on how this could be maybe formatted differently, or if you have suggestions like, to have like a more like intentional collection. Maybe it's hoodies or whatever. I don't care. I'm open to hearing it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, be in touch and let me know if you need anything. See ya.